How's it going, Gemini? I hope everybody is doing well and enjoying, for those of us that celebrate the holiday season, enjoying the holiday season, not getting a little too overwhelmed or stressed. This is going to be love that is coming in for you in the year 2024. So what is coming towards you in terms of this brand new year that we're only a couple weeks away from? Now, if you are, you know, thinking about someone, manifesting someone specifically into your life, um, but you're not in a committed or exclusive relationship, then this reading is also for you. So do take what resonates. And then, you know, to always make sure you're watching your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement readings for additional clarity. I am giving away three free personal love readings for the month of January. You know that I closed out December's giveaway early so I can get the gift card to the person in time for the holidays. So we're going to start it from now until the end of January. I just need you to become a subscriber for those of you that haven't done that. Go ahead and do that so you can take part in these monthly giveaways. And it's each and every month. This month it is for January 3 free love readings. Okay? Leave a heart emoji in the comment section. We've got express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. You know, Gemini, you may want to put yourself out there. If you're flirting with someone or you're feeling intrigued by someone, you've got a crush on someone, let them know. Put yourself out there and go ahead and express what you're feeling. Be open. All right, and then it says past life relationship, a soul union. You have been, you have known each other before. So a soulmate. Your soul recognizes this person's soul that's coming into your life. But allowing yourself to experience this. Let go of, let go of any kind of control you're having over your love life. For those of you that are. And allowing yourself to experience this love. All right, let's see what else. We got two that came out so far. I want to do the bottom of the deck. All right. This is the first one. You see some fire starting to burn up here. A lot of work that you've done on yourself, Gemini, becoming grounded. Becoming like solid within yourself. Allowing yourself to heal those cracks that we get throughout life. Experiences that become the Ten of Swords. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. Creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life. Allowing those cycles that remain open, that do not bring you any growth or happiness in your life, let it burn up. Allow that room for something new to come in because it is. And here it is. Mind, body, and soul in union with someone. It's like the complete package. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Whatever situation you find yourself in, trusting in the moment and the hard lesson that we've learned. Letting go of doubt, letting go of regrets, letting go of the what ifs, and trusting that something amazing is coming into your life. It may look completely different than what you think is entering, but it's gonna be exactly what your heart and soul need. Yeah, get ready for an adventure. That it's, it's coming in and it's going to be so exciting. You may be traveling when you meet this person. They may be traveling. Whether it's for personal like vacation or work. But get ready for an adventure. And it's going to be, like I said, you're following your heart. You're taking your lantern with you. You're moving a little bit slower because of the experiences that you've been through. But you know your spirit guides are directing you to exactly where you're meant to be in terms of love. I love this for you. 
All right, sorry guys, I got canceled from work and they called to just cancel me for the next four hours in healthcare. My place does it in increments of four hours since we do 12 hour shifts and I just got canceled for four more hours. I was like, for the whole day, he said I can only do four more and then I'll call back at two, so great. But look at this, the sun rising in your love life, feeling emotional happiness and content, emotionally content with the person. Not get In this connection, you're not gonna second guess anything because your heart is gonna feel content. They're gonna bring in that trust with them. Just complete package. Yeah, see, there were situations in your life where you felt, you felt stuck, you felt locked up. Like, should I allow myself to become humble or vulnerable to this person? Is what they're telling me the truth, but what is coming towards you is now locking that, that lock. You're aligning with this person's soul. Like I said, where you second guess things, you're not going to do that with this person. All right, let's get into it. I do feel this person coming towards you. It's like you're going to look at it as wishful thinking. But you're going to eventually lower your sword and allow this person in on a deeper level. Knight of Pentacles coming in very grounded. Seven of Swords. King of Swords. Yeah, see what I mean? The Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Cups. Moving into 2024, Gemini, you've got the energy of mind over matter. It's like you're not lowering your sword for just anybody. You're not taking in any small offers. If you're not trusting it, you're letting it go. And someone is coming towards you with their heart completely open. They're coming in grounded. They are coming in looking for a commitment in long term. And this person coming towards you in 2024 is a fated partner. Spirit is saying eventually you will trust it and open your heart up and express your feelings. Queen of Pentacles, Justice, Soulmates, I told you a deep soul level, I got to tell you Gemini, you're going to have your heart completely open to this person just as much as they are, this is, it's exactly, is it this bottom card, as soon as I saw the picture on it, look at it, mind, body, and soul in sync with each other. The complete package for each other. And you're letting go of anything didn't, that did not align with your energy up until this point. You're making bold moves. And I feel a higher level of commitment coming towards you. But I also feel it's coming towards you at a time where you're more balanced. You're more confident about what you have to offer in this connection. Like I said, it is a wish fulfillment. You stood your ground and you're meeting someone that feels like, first off, like I said, wishful thinking, but no, they're going to stick around. They're going to be in your, they're going to be in your corner day in and day out. And you're eventually going to see that you are wish fulfillment in each other's life. You may meet this person for some of you around work or business because I do have the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles or that they have strong earth in their chart. But like I said, it's the stability. Empress. You are shining in 2024, Gemini. And look at this. This card doesn't belong here. Like I said, for some of you, it's going to be around work. 
Spirit just confirmed. That wasn't supposed to be in this deck. Confirming for some of you it's going to happen through work or business. The lovers. Seven of swords. Yeah. You stood your ground and you're making that bold move to let go of the bullshit. The seven of swords showing up twice. And I will clarify that. But you're moving into 2024 in terms of love. Mind over matter. And look at that. You see Jack Frost. This is the death card. You see how everything is starting to de-ice and warm up. The light is shining in on your love life in 2024. And bringing in that passionate new beginning. A whole brand new cycle for you to get excited about. And it's, and it's such an adventure with your heart. Spirit. Seven of Swords twice. Oh, that's hot. Scared me a little. Okay, yeah. Look at this. Coming in very quickly for you. Coming in knowing exactly what they want and making a big move here. It's going to be sooner than you think. And like I said, it's on a soul level. All right, Spirit. How are you helping? How are you helping? Gemini in 2024 in terms of love. I really feel spirit is bringing balance into your life. Helping you get over the hardships. Some of you may even be feeling a financial loss because of past relationships. Just feeling separated like you're on the outside looking in on a whole. But spirit is helping you. Remember the sun is coming in. Complete happiness. And spirit wants you to get on board for the adventure. What is coming towards you is faded. Things that you've experienced on both your ends, considering this is a deep soul connection coming into your love life. Karma being paid back on both your ends from past lifetimes and this lifetime. Waiting for that perfect moment, which is going to happen within 2024 for your, your souls to align. And look at the bottom of the deck. That soul union. And there is spirit right there, bringing it all together. I love this for you guys. G, T, P, A, blank scrabble tile, O, B, L E I and then there's another flying scrabble tile. All right, take what resonates. Let me know how it resonates. Leave that heart emoji down below to qualify for the three free personal readings that I'm giving away for the month of January. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. Um, it's not completely open with all my readings available. I'm just trying to control the volume through the holidays, but beginning of January, everything will be restocked. But there are readings that are available, and it includes the year ahead reading for love, career, finance, stability, overall, what's coming towards you in 2024. All right, love and light, Gemini.